Welcome back. It is April 1st and a lot has happened in the last three weeks, including wrapping up one of my best sewing months. In March, I finished seven garments and have three whips or work in progress garments. And that's a huge milestone for me. It wasn't too long ago when it took me days, I mean days to finish a single project. And in fact, my very first sewing project was Mimi G's Simplicity 9234. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me tell you a little bit about this project because I had no idea what I was getting into. No idea of the level of difficulty in this pattern. So let me tell you about it. Simplicity 9234 is a jumpsuit. It is a jumpsuit with gathered shoulders, an invisible zipper, and a belt that is made of fabric and interfacing. I know, I know, it is not a beginner pattern. And on top of it all, get this, get this, I had the nerve to add elastic at the ankle. But it did take me 40 hours over the course of one week to finish this project. So to think that now I am finishing seven garments in a single month and not one of those garments is taking me nearly as long as it took me to finish one garment when I first started. That is a huge, a huge milestone. But as excited as I am now, and I am excited, I will never forget the feeling of finishing my first garment, the feeling of accomplishment that I had from finishing that first garment. And while it was only one garment, it was packed full of lessons. Like, for example, understanding the difference between pattern sizing and finished garment sizing or the size of the clothes that are in my closet. I remember the first time that I went pattern shopping. I picked up patterns based on the size of the clothes in my closet. I cut those patterns based on the size of the clothes in my closet. I didn't look at sizing. I didn't do measurements. I said, wait up, I'm a size eight, so I'm a cut a size eight. I'm a size 10, so I'm a buy and cut a size 10. I'm a size 12, well, let me cut that. I didn't think about the fabric, and I definitely didn't think about my measurements, which was definitely problematic because I am sure that we all learned very early in our sewing journey that the size of the clothes in our closet is not the size that you should be purchasing your patterns and definitely not the size that you should be cutting your patterns and that you should be measuring yourself your bust line, your under bust line, your waist, your hip, and those are the measurements that are important to selecting and cutting the correct pattern size. But wait up, that's not the only lesson that I learned. I also began to understand what the importance was of all of the markings on the patterns and what they mean and how important it is to transfer all of those markings onto your fabric and how much easier it will make it for you to match your fabric pieces and to identify the front of the uh, fabric piece to, from the back of the fa fabric piece or the wrong side from the right side. Or uh, let me not forget this. I remember the first time that I read my pattern instructions and what it was like to be reading basically a foreign language. That's what I would call it, a foreign language. But over time, I definitely got better, the instructions got easier, and I became more familiar with the terms. And what once took me four hours to cut out a single pattern in fabric now takes me 30 to 40 minutes. Gone are those days when I used to use my seam ripper, not once, not twice, but sometimes three times on a single project. But now I have projects where I never even use my seam ripper. Being a person with a type A personality, sewing has definitely humbled me. 
It has made me celebrate those small wins. And most importantly, it has made me appreciate the process. I have come to learn that the biggest lesson is that it's not about perfection, but it is all about the process and the progress.